It's no secret that Littlest Pet Shop has had its fair share of ups and downs over the years. After a quick rise to success with its second generation of pets, things eventually went downhill for the franchise, which ultimately led to LPS disappearing altogether. But 2024 is set to be one of Littlest Pet Shop's biggest years yet, with a relaunch by Basic Fun bringing the brand to store shelves once again. So is the future of LPS finally looking up, or are they doomed to be a relic of the past? Last year, in 2023, I documented my attempt at coming across LPS in person, and if you haven't seen that video, it was a challenge to say the least. And this year, I've decided to, once again, see if I can get my hands on any LPS in physical stores, and find out for myself just how much things have changed for Littlest Pet Shop within the span of a year. In the original video I made last year, I went to stores like Walmart and Target first, which didn't have anything, then secondhand stores after that. But considering the G7 reboot that's happening right now, I think this year might have a really different outcome. But even then, it might not be a guarantee to find LPS anyway. After all, in early December, the new pets were actually spotted at Canadian Toys R Us locations, and it wasn't long until scalpers took advantage of the early launch. So I was hoping I wouldn't be met with empty shelves once it came time to check those places for myself. Now before we get ahead of ourselves, what is this relaunch all about in the first place? I'll keep it short, since I think most collectors are already familiar with everything, but if for whatever reason you happen to be out of the loop, long story short, it all started with a very vague mention of a Littlest Pet Shop reboot in late 2022, followed by some leaks here and there, basic funds, LPS con attendance, a game, toy fair reveals, and a somewhat messy early release. But now that 2024 is finally here, it's time to see what the 7th generation of LPS really has in store. Okay, so apparently a few people are already finding the new LPS in stores. I'm gonna see what I can do. See, on December 31st, 2023, one day before LPS were to be officially launched in the US, there was news going around that some pets were spotted early in certain locations. But just to be sure, most people recommended calling first to figure out what information specific stores had about the release. How can I help you? If we had one in stock, sorry. Pet shop. Um, let me see. Walmart, how may I help you? Target, how can I help you? I have no clue. I'm not getting any information. It's saying zero in stock. Um, no, we are out of stock of those. So it's out of stock everywhere, but you can find it online. Target.com. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. Hold on one sec. I'm not too sure. Is there like a specific kind that you're looking for? Does any? Oh, yeah. Um, yes, we should have some in I-7. We should have some right there right now. So after many failed attempts, that was an answer I didn't expect, but was certainly not disappointed to hear. I'm almost skeptical. It, like, this seems too good to be true, but they said they have them right now, so I'm not complaining. And with that, Walmart became the first to stop on a late, snowy New Year's Eve. I don't... I don't see any LPS. As it turns out, they did not, in fact, have any in stock. But it was a day early anyway, so all I could do was wait. After all, the new year brings a new generation of LPS. At least, it should. Hopefully. It's January 1st, 6 a.m. I'm not a morning person. Though, that's when Walmart opens, so I had to tough it out, I guess. Honestly, this could all be for nothing. No one really knows when the US release date is. That's just what the website says. Or, well, that's what the website said anyway. Back in December, Basic Fun added a countdown on the LPS page of their website, but after a little while it was suddenly gone for some reason. It was odd for it to be removed so suddenly and without any explanation, so the official release date was very unclear. Nonetheless, the end of the now removed countdown was January 1st, so that's when I began my G7 search. Even though I was running on just a few hours of sleep, it would all be worth it if I could find some LPS. So I made my way to the toy aisle and found nothing. But there was still a chance that Target might have them. They opened a couple hours later at 8, so after going home for a bit, it was time to venture out again. There isn't anything here either. Not a good start. I looked into it some more online, and it seemed like most people were having the same problem. So at that point, it was best to call it a day for the time being, and take a much needed nap. 
Right now, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna get anywhere with this. So in the meantime, I might see if I can find some G2 LPS. Like last year, I decided to visit some secondhand stores for that, making Goodwill the first stop. And not surprisingly, I didn't find much of anything. They had a lot of toys and there was a lot to look at, but for now, no LPS. On to the next one. This time the toy section was smaller than the first place. There's not much else to say about it, but again, I didn't find anything. After that, I went to one more Goodwill. Like the others, there was a ton of random stuff to sort through, and like the others, not much showed up. Until I spotted something buried at the bottom of a pile. Another door from the Get Better Center. If you haven't seen the video from last year, I also found a Get Better Center door then. What are the chances? It was a different color than the other one though, so there is that. But uh, that was an interesting find, and something related to LPS at least. I also made a quick stop at the dollar store, since that was one of the places recommended to me from last year's video, and I have seen LPS there once or twice myself. Granted, that was a long time ago, but there were no LPS this time around. Next, I decided to check out a different thrift store in the area, since a friend of mine actually sent me some pictures of LPS stuff he had found there. So I went to see for myself, and after looking through the toy section, it seemed like whatever LPS they had were no longer there, which isn't too surprising. But when I was browsing through the games, I did see Littlest Pet Shop friends for the Wii, so that was something. So far, I have found essentially nothing. After having little luck so far, I tried to focus more on dedicated secondhand collectible shops, as opposed to general thrift stores. That's where I had the most success in last year's video, so I decided to look into a few more similar places. The first shop I went to was a small local place where they sell games and toys. I did, however, accidentally delete all the footage from that day. That was a very humbling experience. Luckily I didn't lose a lot, and they didn't really have any LPS there anyway, aside from one damaged G5 cat and a G2 McDonald's squirrel with a removed base, so you're not missing out on much. But nonetheless, another place I went to was a local antique store. Even though it does feel somewhat strange referring to Littlest Pet Shop as antiques, this is actually the first place I had ever found LPS when I started collecting. I'd still stop by every once in a while just to browse, but I don't really see many pets there anymore these days. Still, I figured I would stop by for the sake of this video, just to see. And I actually did find some LPS. Well, these LPS anyway. G3, everyone's favorite. So it didn't seem like I would find much at this store either. That is, until I saw this. It had a lot of small toys in it, and to my surprise, even some LPS. G2 LPS at that. But before I show what I brought home, there was one more place to go. So finally, for the last of these secondhand stores, I paid another visit to the shop from last year's video. And if you've seen it, this refrigerator might look familiar. After I made that video a year ago, I got some comments asking what exactly the store was. Since it is just a locally owned shop, saying the name of the place would also give out where I live, so even though I would like to answer if I could, I'm not sure it would be a great idea to put that out on the internet. As much as I understand the curiosity, I guess my best answer if you want to find a similar store would be to look into local secondhand collectible shops near where you live. Since filming that video last year, I had been to this place one other time a few months ago and picked up a few more finds. So for this video, I decided to stop by once again to see what I could find at the bottom of that little refrigerator. But what, if anything, would it have in store this time? Honestly, still a decent number of them, and I think a lot of the same ones that were there before. Maybe since it's in such a weird spot, it's easy to miss? Or I just don't live near a lot of LPS collectors, who knows. But whatever the case, I did pick a small handful to take home with me that I was pretty glad to find. But we'll get into that later. Now, as far as old LPS in 2024, yeah, they're still pretty tough to get in person. Not much has changed there. If you're the right amount of patient and lucky, eventually you'll probably come across at least something. But the search for LPS wasn't quite over, as I had yet to see any G7 pets in stores. In the aftermath of the underwhelming countdown and delayed US release, a lot of collectors were understandably disappointed. Once a few days had passed though, Littlest Pet Shop did post a statement acknowledging the community with more information about the launch, saying, We hear you. Good news is, all partners are working hard to get pets to shelves. We ask for your patience as we all work to make 2024 the year of the bobble. Followed by dates for several retailers, including Amazon's pre-sale, which had already been sold out at that point, Target as early as January 7th, and Walmart February 12th. So hopefully, now it was only a matter of time. It's been almost about a week, five days, since LPS were supposed to be out. I haven't had any luck with it since, but I'm gonna start trying again. During that time, the blind boxes had been confirmed to be in GameStop's system, and even spotted at a few locations. And after checking with a local store, the person said, um, just so you know, this is a GameStop, and didn't seem to believe LPS would be something they actually carried until looking it up in the system for themselves, so not much progress there. 
just checked with Target again, and they claim to have LPS on the shelves right now. I know it's the 5th, and the earliest for Target is supposed to be the 7th, so I don't know. I had already been misled once, so my hopes weren't terribly high this time. But if they claimed to have the new pets, I was still gonna check. Just in case. And, as it turns out, at the very bottom of the shelf, they did indeed have G7 LPS. In a spot like that, it could have been easy to miss, but they caught my eye right away. It was kind of a strange experience in a way. Nostalgic and new, all at once. As tempting as it was to get the case of 18 blind boxes right then and there, I decided to hold off on that since I had already pre-ordered them on Amazon and I didn't want to take them all if I didn't need to, especially since they only had one set in stock. But they also had more of the three pack tubes, and I did pick up one of each since I didn't have those yet. So, after a messy, confusing release timeline, I finally had the new LPS in my hands. Even though I wasn't able to find every LPS that's been released yet, I'd like to think this is just the beginning, but for now, let's take a look at our findings. Alright, so this is everything that I found. Um, these two bags are Gen 2 stuff, and this bag is some new LPS. I'll start with the antique store stuff. Some regular LPS and a baby LPS. It's mostly teensies. They even came with some accessories. And this next bag... Just a random assortment of pets, and also a hat. This one came with one of the ones I got last year. I don't know why I didn't just get it then, because I'm pretty sure it was there. But yeah, finally, these are the new Generation 7 LPS that I found. Two of the pet trio tubes. I guess you could say they're LPS tubes. These are Wild Vibes and City Vibes. And this one even comes with a new mold. This is everything here as far as basic fun stuff, but like I said, I pre-ordered the blind boxes and a few other things, so those are coming. But for now, this is the start of my Gen 7 collection. It's always cool to see LPS in person, so it was nice to come across this stuff. Let me know which ones are your favorites. I'm gonna make dedicated videos opening and talking more in depth about all the new pets as I collect them, so if that's something you'd be interested in, please stick around for those videos very soon. Compared to last year, I'd say that things are finally getting better in the world of LPS. A year ago, all we had were vague murmurings of a potential reboot, and not much else. G2 LPS were harder to come by than ever, and currently they still kinda are. But it's nice to have a new generation of pets to collect after all these years, and the classic style that made these things a success in the first place. It's a good time to be an LPS collector, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future has in store for these little plastic animals next. Thank you so much for watching. Like I mentioned, I will be making full videos about all the new pets, including comparing them to their original G2 versions and giving my overall thoughts and honest opinions about these new LPS. So if you want to see more LPS videos like this, please consider subscribing and turning on all notifications. Also, you can follow on Instagram for countdowns to future uploads and video updates to see what's coming next before it's posted here on YouTube. Thanks again for being here, and I will see you very soon.